Today we have a RTX 2080 Ti. This is Asus. It has three fans and it has two connectors. Uh, we're going to uh, replace the thermopaste and I'm going to check the pads if it needs to be replaced. If the pads appear to be good, I'm not going to replace it because it's not always a good idea to replace the pads with the new ones because if the size is not 100% match the manufacturer size, it's better not to. So either way, we're going to open it together and we're going to see, uh, we're going to check, we're going to see. I will show you how to open uh, the GPU the easy way. You need to heat it up a bit because if you will not heat it up, you will not be able to remove it. So let's start. We're going to start with the screws. Removing all the screws. here we'll remove all these screws I'm going to pause the video once I will finish removing all so you usually uh, heat it up heat up a little bit the board once it's hard enough I will be able to pull it up with ease uh, if you try to pull it up and with force it's going to bend and you're going to end up damaging the board so I kind of like to warm the board up, especially where the pads are, the pads area, and then I I lift it up gently, gently. It shouldn't be long. Obviously, this is 300 degrees, so it's pretty much a lot of heat. So it's not a melting temperature. It's nothing for a GPU like this one. Obviously, these are these GPU to remove uh, something you need 500 degrees. Or to dissolve or something. So, yeah, I can feel that it's starting to come out. Yeah, yeah, it's out. It's out. Now, once it's out, we're going to remove the fan connectors. And once we remove the yeah, the thermo paste is long gone. So the pads appear to be good in good condition. These are the thermal pad that I can see here, and I will check here as well to see if there's uh, there's thermal pads. Obviously, we're going to uh, clean it up. We're going to vacuum it. There's not much dust, but there's some dust here on the pads. I'm going to bring the vacuum and I'm going to vacuum it up. As you can see here, the thermal paste is completely dry. I usually don't recommend people replacing thermal paste, but this is a five, six years old GPU. In this case, yeah, it's worth it. Why I don't recommend doing it? Because I've seen people destroying GPU just to save few temperature, new GPU a year or two years old. In a year GPU, obviously you don't really need to replace. So we're going to try with the ISO Propy alcohol. If that will, if it's too difficult, I use usually WD-40. But I think in this case we are okay to do it with this. Yeah, it's coming out, so there's no need to use to use the WD-40. Yeah, it looks great, looks clean, and we're going to remove it from here. Here we'll have to be a little bit more careful, a little bit more gentle, a bit more alcohol. And basically almost done. Okay. Yeah, we're going to make sure that it was removed. Yeah. I don't like to push it too hard. Always be gentle with these things. Yeah. Okay, it looks good to me. Shiny. We are using the Nakuta. 
Nukuta Thermal Paste. It's one of the best in the market. I like to use it to high-end GPUs and uh, gaming computers. You don't need much, but uh, you know you need to have to, to make sure that the GPU is covered. I'm gonna put a little bit here. I'm gonna apply it a bit here. Yeah. Some here. I like to do an X and a bit here. A bit here, a bit here. I like to have in every corner to make sure it's it will be everywhere. We don't want too much because we don't want it to spread. Okay, so we're good. So this is in. That's enough thermal paste. And like I said, I'm not going to replace the pads. The pads are in perfect condition. It's like literally like new. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in. We're going to put it back in, and we're going to test it. I'm going to squeeze back, make sure the thermal paste spread correctly. Yep. And that's about it. Mission completed. You want to continue? Put the screws back in. Okay. Now it's in, and we're going to test it after to test the temperature and to see how it works. If there is any crashing or okay. So, uh, yeah, I hope you learned how to replace thermal paste. I don't usually recommend doing it. You know, uh, I've seen many are destroying the, their devices because they they wiped up, uh, they uh, knocked up components during the process. So don't don't do it if you don't have to do it. Thank you for watching and contact us if you need anything. Thanks.